Hello everyone and welcome to Entry Level Tech. This is a brand new YouTube channel and for my first video I'll be doing a review of Rocketcon EMP gaming mouse. So first off I'm gonna start with the box. So this is the package and as you can see it features 4D Titan wheel, 12K DPI, Rocket Overlay Optical Sensor. On the right side we have a nice slogan Rocket sign. On the back we will find multiple languages about functions of the mouse. 16.8 million colors RGB lightning. On the top side we can notice few more additional features of the mouse. If we go all the way to the bottom we'll find package contains, system requirements, technical specifications. And on the left side we have additional info about Rocket Swarm, optical sensor and about the mouse itself. So overall it's a pretty nice looking box. Now you will also get quick installation guide and also three pretty nice looking stickers. Really really nice. And now let's have a closer look at the mouse. So let's now have a closer look at the mouse itself. So this is the mouse, Rocketcon EMP gaming mouse. Now I want to point out that the weight of this mouse is 116 grams. The length of the mouse is 135 millimeters. The height of the mouse is around 42 millimeters. And the wide of the mouse around 75 millimeters. So as you can see, no notice or by looking by the measurements, you can see that this is one of the largest and heaviest mouses currently on the market. So do pay attention if you decide on getting this mouse that this mouse is mostly for people with larger hands because if you have a smaller hand it probably won't fit you nicely. For an example my hand as I measured earlier from here to the top of the middle finger it's 19.5 centimeters and if I put my hand on, on the mouse palm grip normally as I normally use my mouse you will see that this mouse fits like it, it fits perfectly in my hand and you can you can see that both fingers are like on top of the buttons so it fits really nicely and perfectly in my hand so do pay attention when you decide or if you decide on buying this mouse just go to your local store and try the mouse before you buy it to make sure it fits nicely in your hand. The second thing is this mouse is very ergonomic mouse. As you can see it has nicely shaped curvy, curvy lines and it really really fits beautifully in your hand. A very beautiful and ergonomic mouse. So anyone who likes ergonomic mouses, this is probably one of the best choices. It really, really fits perfectly in your hand, but you know, you have to, you just have to try it on your own to see how nicely it fits, how nicely it feels in your hand. You will notice two RGB lighting stripes on both sides on top. They can be, of course, change programmable in different options. I'll, 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 I'll give you a quick look. So this right now is full light, full lightning, like full lit. It just shines like this. Uh, you have blinking. So this is like blinking, as you can see. You have breathing. and you have heartbeat and of course you can change colors to any any way you like you want but yes I would say that RGB lighting on this mouse is pretty good it looks really really nice especially at night or in, in dark room and that it, it looks really nice. 
on the left side you'll notice two buttons which can be programmable in your swarm software so you can adjust these two buttons for anything you like you want here we have two dpi buttons plus and minus for your dpi adjustments scroll wheel very very nice scroll wheel i have to say that the, the quality of the scroll wheel is very high you can feel every single step as you scroll it really feels good <laughs> under your finger the rubber on top is very very good quality also uh, it's not like it won't like your finger like won't just like slide through or something like that it, it will stay firmly to your skin as you scroll so it's really really nice tilt buttons and two main buttons of course and on the on the right side just a nice ergonomic shape i would say it really really feels nice the surface the surface is is of very good high quality i would say because when you when you use your hand on the mouse it you 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 will notice that it 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 stays in your in your in your grip very nice very very good and it it feels like it's 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 like it's glued to your hand actually really you can have you can make hard movements fast movements whatever whatever you like and you don't have to use much of a grip stronger grip or anything like that because mouse will stay in your hand really nicely even with fast movements and everything because it really has a nice very nice and smooth surface and it really really stays nicely in, in your hand now here we'll find two mouse feet very smooth and nice it, it glides on the on the mouse pad really nice no objections here really really good and here is the optical sensor oval eye optical sensor 12,000 dpi now this sensor is made from it's a custom made optical sensor from pixar to 3360 and this one is custom made pixar 3361 very good quality very precise I did made few tests but I'll probably show it to you on, on the end of the video and I had while gaming I, I, I gamed in a few games and that and found no nothing strange nothing odd really really high quality precision optical uh, sensor also uh, the cable the cable is 1.8 meters long it's a braided cable not too thick or too thin very flexible it's pretty flexible and uh, it's a braided cable of course as you can see it's a braided cable and i really have no objections very very good quality so yes uh, i can say overall that this mouse is a very good mouse high quality Anyone who likes ergonomic mouse, special ergonomic mouse, will probably love this mouse. It's made for larger hand, you have to remember that. And it's a really nice, cool mouse. And now let's go through software. I want to show you something about Swarm software. So let's have a look at the software. On the top we have three main tabs settings button assignments and advanced settings all the way on the bottom we have game profiles profile manager macro manager as you can see you can save up to five different profiles you can use profile manager to adjust your profiles delete switch import so on macro manager is for recording your macro keys under the settings we find like many different options but probably the most the important one would probably be the DPI switcher. You have five different profiles you can set and choose with whichever DPI settings you want to 
it goes all the way up to 12,000 dpi and if we go under button assignment you'll see that you have many different functions here you can select so for example any button you can you can give the different functions so if we go on for example button 4 you see you can assign micro assign hotkey timer basic functions you have tilt left right page up and down advanced functions setting your dpi or profiles internet browsers home back stuff refresh so on multimedia you can change the volume up and down the mute the volume under the open you can open different types of applications open documents open folders or websites rocket functions easy aim easy wheel easy shift system and operating system you can put your windows to hibernate reboot shut down sleep so on or you can just disable the button and here you also have easy shift which basically gives you 11 other functions you can use so for example you can for example if you go on the on the bottom four you go on the rocket functions you select easy switch and then you go whichever button you want just select for example let's 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 select multimedia volume up so to easy switch to work so you'll you'll have to first click on button four hold it pressed and then you click on button one and that will go volume up this is how you basically use easy switch but yes it has many different options functions you can really do whatever you like in this button assignment so we move on to advanced settings you have pulling rate sound feedbacks distance control unit and you can reset settings to default under illumination you have rgb lightning you can turn on and off here you can select whichever color you prefer on all those four sides and you here is the color flow you can set it on or off the lightning effects are fully lit it's blinking breathing heartbeat here is slow then medium then fast and under swarm settings here you can find additional things about your updates let's update check you can put automatic updates on or off download updates immediately show updates notifications under update center you'll find your current version you can find what has been changed in earlier versions and so on current driver version firmware of your mouse the version also what has been improved fixed and things like that on the monitoring if you have smartphone you can download that swarm app and you can monitor your gaming and things like that and under help you can directly contact your uh, the rocket support or you also have frequently asked questions where you can probably find some useful answers to some some features you don't understand or know in the swarm software overall i have to say that swarm software is very nice designed it looks very nice uh, i i would say that it's easy to use so i think not many people will have any kind of problems using this software so yes that that would be it about this uh, the swarm software and for my last test i have created two images using windows paint software where i was testing about jittering skipping and so on now the first image is 400 cpi and the second one is 4000 cpi now the smoother the lines are the results are better and if we have a look at 400 cpi we'll see that image it looks good the test is done well and no no objections here while on 4000 cpi we do have some jittering no noticeable jittering but that is expected because the higher the cpi resolution is the more jittering the mouse will create this is perfectly normal and not i don't think that any any single mouse would 
do like 4000 4, CPI without any jittering or something like that. So I think that both results are very good. And for the conclusion of the review, I just want to point out my thoughts. Sensor is great, switches are very good, mouse wheel is top quality, very ergonomic, software easy to use, high build quality. And some of the current prices on the market, for example, uh, I pointed out a few, Amazon and UEC is $79.99, Amazon Canada has the mouse for $99.99, Amazon Germany has it for 79.99 euros. Amazon UK has 69.95 pounds. And French Amazon is selling the mouse for 79.90 euros. And that will be all. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you didn't dislike it, thank you for watching and please do remember to subscribe to my channel.